Okay guys, now we're going to do this wiring here. Now, don't get too nervous about it. The wiring is pretty straightforward. We're going to get this all figured out one step at a time. First things first, we're going to look at this switch and we're going to look at this wire here. We've got this, uh, this grounding terminal here. It's got to go on this bolt here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that nut, that bolt back off that I installed before. It's a pretty simple setup. It just goes on there like so, and that's for grounding, okay? There you go, a little snug. All right, now, we got lots of other wires here. The benefit is they're all color-coded. Now, I know like they all look like the same color, but you got to really think things through. It's pretty straightforward. So we have this one down here. This is for the oil level sensor, and if there's not enough oil in this engine, it will shut off. And that one has a white plastic covering on there. And then we have another white plastic covering uh, wire here. This one comes directly from the ignition coil. If you remember, there was two wires coming off of that. So this one here has got to fit in this channel. OK, I don't know if you can see that channel there. It's got to fit in this channel here. And then it'll come around and connect directly up to this guy here. We'll go through this little loom here, this protector here. And that gets plugged in just like so, okay? Now, then we have two green wires coming from this golden box, okay? And we have two coming from the switch. So pretty straightforward, guys. They basically got to connect. So here we have a female, here we have a male. There's your male right there, and then there's the other one right there. Pretty straightforward. And that's it for wiring, okay? And this is the on and off switch when you want to start the engine. If you leave it in the off position, it does not allow the engine to spark. When you switch it to the on position, it allows the engine to spark. And that's how you shut the engine off, is by switching it to off. Okay? Pretty straightforward there, guys. That's it.